Hi everyone, in today's video I will show you the difference between limit and take method. I have created a Laravel project and inside I have created a model for post. I have inserted 1000 records using model factory and tinker. I have also installed Laravel debug bar package so that I can show you the queries that are executed in each case. Make sure app debug is true in environment files otherwise your debug bar won't show up. So inside our controller let's try limit first and check the query that is executed. I have limited the records to 500 since I have 1000 records in the database. Let's see what will be the query that is executed on limit. If I go to my browser and go to the route that I've created for this slash post, I can see the debug bar down below. Let's click on queries and see the query that is executed. So select strategy from post limit 500. So it's a simple query that will return 500 records from the database. So let's go back to our code and see what happens if we use take method. I'm just going to comment this line and uncomment this one and let's see what happens in the browser. If I hit refresh, you can see the same query is executed, but we are using take instead of limit method. The reason for this is take is just an alias for limit when using in query builder or eloquent the difference is that the limit method can work only on eloquent ORM or query builder objects. The take method however can work in both these cases as well as on the collections. So let's try using take on a collection. I'm just going to cut it from here. I'm gonna get all the records and then I'm gonna use take. Now let's see what query is executed. I hit refresh and see it selects everything from the post table. So let's go back and see what is the data inside our post variable. If I hit refresh now, you see we only get 500 records. But we just saw that the query executed was for everything in the database. So that is the difference using take on collection. If you want to limit after getting all the results from the database, you can use take method on the collection. So the conclusion is that the limit method only works on queries. The take method works as an alias for limit when using in queries, but take can also work on collections while limit cannot work on collections. I hope you have found the content of this video useful. If so, do hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. If you have any query or if you want me to create a video on a specific topic in Laravel, do leave a comment below. Thank you for watching the video.